Good afternoon, everyone. Atmospheric compression is a new term you should be looking for in the media. Spensmark, the cloud mystery, is your first stop when you start to look for information about this. Cosmic ray increases brought about by a decrease in the sun's magnetic solar field allow more cosmic rays to form lower clouds across our planet. Along with this, there's an undulation in the jet stream. National climate assessment even comes talking about heavy downpours are increasing. We're going to take a look right now at the last three months of atmospheric compression events starting in Turkey. Off into Australia and Argentina. Look at the size of these hailstones. Italy as well. And you get these massive events. This is three feet of hail along the equator in Quito. Almost all of the weather changes that we're seeing across our planet can be attributed to an increase in cloud formation along with the El Nino evaporating more water into the atmosphere. Getting the combination of the both of these events occurring at the same time. Spensmark, this video, The Cloud Mystery, you need to watch this one. It explains everything in much greater detail than I'm going into in this video. As the sun goes into a grand solar minimum, the magnetic field of the sun decreases along with our own magnetic field on the earth. And what you'll find happening is lower clouds are forming across the entire planet around 15 to 18,000 feet. And you can clearly see there's a relationship inverse between the strength of the solar cycle and the percentage of cloud cover during those times of high solar activity or low solar activity. NASA also concurs the measurements they have put out. Cosmic rays hit an all-time high during this space age of measurement right now. 20% higher than anything they've ever seen. Now these events of increased cloud cover also will affect the jet stream. You see this again and again. They try to call it the polar vortex. This is actually what it is. National Climate Assessment. They do different summaries on what's going on with the weather. Some of them are right on the money. Others are dubious. What I did find interesting, heavy downpours increasing. The graph they showed here, U.S. trend, heavier in precipitation going through the 2000s. Although it does stop, it's 2015. I wonder why they didn't add the extra five years. Going by the decade, Northeast United States showing an increase, Midwest showing an increase. Overall, look at that, 71% increase going up in Maine area. Right around Boston, imagine, we saw that record snow for 300 years in Boston this year. As well, the all-time record snows in Detroit and Chicago last week. Look where they are, exactly in those same two areas where it's showing increased precipitation. Now, to let you understand what's happening, the core inside the updrafts is around 20,000 feet, but these areas are getting much more dense. Heavier updrafts, more precipitation. Just an example from earlier in the year, this is right on the equator. Feet thick of ice in Quito as well as in Bogota. That's two feet of ice covering these areas. That's a street view in Bogota. These two areas are right on the equator. Also in Argentina, when you have these massive updrafts, those ice nuclei are allowed to float back up, get another layer of ice, drop down, be pulled back up, get another layer of ice, drop back down, and the cycle repeats. When I was a kid, we never saw hail this big ever. It was always the size of a pea. Check out this hail in Italy. Gigante. September. There's just some more images here of what the hail was bouncing around like. Australia, November 7th, also incredible hailstorm making the news there. Look at the size of these. Interesting shape and formation, almost like a flower. Hailstorm pounding Mexico, leaving another couple of feet of hail on the streets. These are the types of events you'll start to see again and again. 
strong hail south dakota 15 centimeters look how much ice is on the roads that is an atmospheric compression event israel also large hail there you start to see these place in place again mainstream media will make you believe it's global warming somehow magically co2 is doing this but this is the actual information that you have at your fingertips here these events are not limited just to hail, but also floods. In Europe last year and the year before, they were breaking records, 200, 300 year floods. This year as well, there's just so many that they're too numerous to put into a video. You'd be bogged down with 30, 40, 50 hours of research just for the floods. This is the ones that just happened in the last couple of months of note. Flooding in Turkey, which you probably never heard about. Now, these are going through the middle of towns down the road. Bodrum in Turkey. This is right downtown. Markets being flooded. Some images through the social media here. A lot of landslides. Again, you'll start hearing landslide, landslide, landslide all over the place in the media. Landslides are triggered by these heavy rain events. Black Sea region as well. Same area. Northern Africa, shall we say, also experiencing the same. Kenya, this is a 72-hour rainfall accumulation over that day. Three days of rain equaled their month total. Sierra Leone, that's downtown. That's not a floodway. That's not a river. That is a street in the middle of downtown. That's how much rain is coming down in these places. Right in Freetown, they received half a month of rain in three days. Again, social media, look how swamped it is there. Wow, that, there's, that's not normal rain at all. So I went over to look for the average monthly rainfall totals for Sierra Leone. And we're looking right around 175. But as I showed you before, they were pushing 150 during that storm. They picked up at least half a month to almost a month's rain in a single three-day storm. Kuwait as well. There were those two cyclones that came rolling through that went into Oman and Yemen. I didn't even put these on the video, but those are other events that are coming across. Greece, five inches in a single storm. This is what their rainfall map totals look like, 72 hours. And right around Manisa, they got an entire month full of rain as well within a one-day period. Uh, tornadoes in downtown Athens, that's incredibly rare. We're seeing water spouts all across the planet right now and even small bodies of water. This is a jump over to Burkina Faso. The damage from the flood and right through the center of the town. These are amazing amounts of water coming down. Rainfall accumulation map for you just to dive in there. You can see the totals throughout. This is in Nigeria. That water base is almost up to the second floor. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. New term, add it to your memory banks, atmospheric compression. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and I will keep more stories like these coming to you.